if you plug your robo mode into the mains and you get a charging problem like this thing you do when you get a charging problem beep like that just charging problem on the display is to get a voltmeter set it to 200 volts put the red plug inside the black plug outside you can see this power supply is putting out 22.3 volts it should be putting out over 30 volts so the power supply is faulty. ordered a new power supply from Moa Magic which arrived today. If you test the voltage of this one, you'll see it's 40 volts. There's only one small problem which the eagle eyed among you may have noticed is the plugs are different. So apparently I've ordered the wrong part. This is an outdoor power supply. But I can't imagine it would be too much problem to cut the plug off that, cut the plug off there, splice the two wires together. In fact, there is a silver lining at the end of this story because these outdoor power supplies are actually cheaper than the indoor ones and they've got a massively long wire which will stretch all the way to the back of our garden. Um, the indoor power supplies for this Robomo are over £100. The outdoor power supplies are £78. As I say, it can't be that difficult to splice the wires together, which is what I'm going to try and do now. Come to join the wires, you're going to use something like this. This is the new lead. Rather than cutting it right at the end, I'm actually going to cut it down here, just in case I ever get a Robomo or sell this Robomo or need to use that. If you, if you cut it right at the plug, you'd have to make up that plug again but if I cut it here and strip the wires back we can always splice that back on if we need to. Once you've spliced these two wires together you notice on the new plug it's got a red and a black wire positive and negative so it's very easy to tell which is which. On the other wire it's just got a white and a black but what you've got to remember is out of the middle section is positive and out of the outside is negative so to make sure I've wired this up correctly you put the red terminal inside, the black one on the outside, and that should be positive. It's not, it's negative. Which basically means I need to switch those two wires around. Swap the wires around. And now, when we do the test, voltage is positive. All you've got to remember is the white wire, the bit with the white line goes to the red, the black goes to the black. Now, when we plug this in, there will either be a loud flash bang explosion or it'll start charging without, oops, without the charging problem. But let's just try it, shall we? There we go, problem solved and we saved ourselves 30 pounds on the indoor plug and we avoid the need to trail an extension lead to the shed because this outdoor plug has a much longer lead on it so if you get a charging problem check your power supply it should be putting out 40 volts if it's putting out less than that or less than 30 you'll get a charging problem